Hey everyone, Siege from Siege Gaming here, and I'm trying to survive Valheim. Along the way, we're going to build a base, upgrade our gear, fight a whole bunch of bosses, and see what other trouble we can get into. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, nothing to it but to do it. Let's get started. I'm kind of wet, and I don't know when hypothermia might set in. So what we need to do is... Find a good location to start a base of operations. Now, this isn't too bad as a pre-made structure, but I find it quite lacking, and I'd like to be closer to the shore. See this bush here? These are raspberries. Very nutritious. Food's very important when you're surviving in the wilds of Alheim. Be a deer. Now, we could try to sneak up on him. I don't think he sees us. Just a friendly siege. He knew no harm. Attack. There we go. They snuck. Maybe the other deer won't know what happened to his companion. Now he knew. The death screams of his fellow deer scared him. As you can see, we are not alone in these woods. And the natives are very hostile. So I can understand as I'm coming in, taking their resources, and killing their livestock. But, you know, survival. Now, I understand that it goes against logic that we're running in the opposite direction of where our first boss fight, Ike, there is. But I am ill-prepared to take him head on right now. Uh, I don't even have pants, as you can see. No pants. I'm a pantsless siege. Look at those legs. Top priority is shelter, get a fire going, cook ourselves some food, and head out from there. Hi, pigs. I need all your resources. For the betterment of me, not you. Now, another... Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to create content and record railings. Hi, I killed the rest of your herd? What are, what are, what are, what are pigs traveling? What you can see here is a mushroom. I don't know much about mushrooms, but I know all the mushrooms in Valheim are edible. If you come across them, feel free to eat them. Is it chicken in the woods? I don't know. Is it a morale? No, but you can eat them, so do it. Now I'm tempted to go get that mushroom, but I'm here all by myself. And if I suffer a fatal injury, oh, actually, I'm just gonna respawn and come back and I get to do it all over again. But I don't really wanna do a death run right now. Hello, Fred. I think he liked my gift of the friendship axe. Now this is a really good sign. A lot of berries in this field. Great source of uh, good berry stuff. Yep, just a bushcraft life for me. Well, I tell you, this has been a arduous journey and my legs and feet are killing me. So I think I'm gonna stop and have a quick snack. All right, my belly's full and I'm feeling better. Continue. Ah. Stamina ran out and I spooked him. All right, we'll have other chances. But now, I really like bacon. We're going to get this boar. Okay, you will hide one behind the rock. All right. I'm a seasoned survivor. Two boar or nothing. Three, I can't, I can't handle three. Another deer. coming toward us. Keep an eye on him. Track his movements. Learn the ways of the deer. Just stand very still. Let him feel as there's no threat. Slowly come up behind him. But he heard us there for a second. Slowly approach. Ever so slightly. And there you go. Easy peasy. We're having venison and bacon tonight, boys. Any chest in here? No. Now, I want to act quickly. If we're going to swim, better swim now. I think I'd rather be on that side of the harbor. I see some necks in the distance. 
Oh, they can prove tricky. The gear's gonna get wet. The clothes are gonna get wet. The night's setting in soon. So if we're gonna make this journey, we better do it now. The current's really slow over here, which is nice. Alright, just barely made it. We didn't drown. That's good. And we don't seem to have alarmed the necks or the boars. Even better. So what do we got going on here? I think I might like this a little bit better. Needs a little work, but for tonight, it should do. First thing we need to do... Is craft ourselves a hammer. And with the hammer, we need to craft ourselves a workbench. Alright, now that we have the workbench down, we can craft ourselves a bed. Sleeping on the ground is not an option. And can we craft ourselves a fire? Yes, we can. Nights here in Valheim get chilly. It's gonna feel good to get warm. We have a shelter, we have a fire, we have a bed. We have food in our pack, we have meat we can cook. But I gotta be honest, I am so tired. It was a long day. So I'm gonna get some sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Well, I think the first thing I wanna do is secure and repair our shelter. And after that, we'll grab some cooking racks Pick up some meat, get a full belly, and see what we can do about armor. I'd like to get a bow crafted and hunt some deer. Let's get to it. Health is all repaired. Worked up quite a bit in appetite. So now I think it's time to go grab some meat racks get our food cooking and enjoy a hot meal it's still chilly out here this morning and the weather's not doing us any favors to deer hunting but i tell you after repairing that shelter sitting down for a nice breakfast of berries mushrooms venison and bacon really does the body good i'm feeling warm my belly's full so why don't we go see about crafting ourselves a bow, see if we can hunt ourselves some deer. Always take care of your tools, and your tools will take care of you. Alright, we can make ourselves a bow, a hoe, and some arrows. Now let's see if we can go hunt ourselves some deer. Got ourselves the pig. Oh no we didn't, we just made a man. We got ourselves the pig. The deer right there through the fog. And straight at us. Now we have to account for the drop. Uh oh. Dirty spook. Alright, good. We got both. So we have the trophies we need to go after Ike there. But what I'd really like to do one, upgrade my bow. Two, craft better arrows. And three, and most importantly, still need pants. I'm going to go ahead and search this coastline, see how much flint I can find. Then I'll meet you back at the workbench. Didn't take me too long. See you in a minute. So while I was crafting my flint knife, you could see the fog finally lifted. I grabbed one more deer while I was getting the stone. And on top of that, I need more wood yet again because I want to upgrade the workbench. Let's see if we can find some wood. Found it. Come here. Take the knife. Huh? Yeah. I'm glad the fog is lifted. So we're gonna need to find some birds. We're gonna need the feathers to make the flint arrows that I want to craft. Hopefully we're lucky and a bird will land here shortly. 
Make a leather tunic. Leather trousers. Go ahead and make the leather helmet. See, the birds in Valheim are very skittish. As soon as you approach, they take off. Now, I really don't care for neck meat, so if he lets me live, I'll let him live. Okay, being we have a hoe, I want to flatten out around the shelter. And what I like to do is I like to work out from the doorway. Oh, come on, guys. I'm trying to trying to give the audience a tutorial on using a hoe. Come here. Come here. Now, the day is getting away from us, isn't it? I'll tell you what, we did good today. We got pants, we got a knife, got a better axe. We have our bow, ate some good food. Now all we have to do is find some birds, upgrade our gear, and we should be ready to take on Ike there. So I'm just gonna chill here by the fire for a minute. We'll get this incredible view. I'll see you tomorrow. Ah, oh, good morning. Still a little dark out on day three. But I think what I wanna do before we head off hunting for these birds is I want to craft the storage chest. Grab this little one by one four piece. Snap it like so. And then we should be able to put another chest right on top. Like so. Now let's go make some breakfast. Now ideally what I would really like to do as we're hunting for birds and deer is I'd like to see if there's any other structures around because what I'd really, really like to do is find a beehive and see if they have a queen inside so we can harvest our own honey, which is a great stamina boost. Right, it's still early yet. Kind of hoping to see some birds. Pick this rock formation out. Usually, it should be bones inside. No bones. Okay, like I said, the highest priority today is bird. When your subsistence is living, you have to be an opportunist. A bird really should land so I could shoot it dead. Come on, Come on your wings are tired. You need to land. Uh, if we can't get ourselves some birds, I don't know what we're going to do about this Eichter fight. Now there's one, there's usually two. Uh, not gonna worry about it. One out of two, like those odds. Okay, do we have a hive in here? I don't hear any buzzing. Unfortunate. And we continue to look. Oh, look at the rack on that one. Majestic. Dead. What about your buddy? Also majestic. Not dead. Oh no, he's gonna run away. Oh boy. If he would just stop moving. Come on, do I hear any of the buzzing? Oh. We have a chest. And sometimes in chests are flint head arrows. So far we're striking out on what I wanted to accomplish today. I haven't found any bees or birds. And as Mrs. Siege could tell you, that's something I should have learned about a long time ago. I'll take a structure, I'll take a bird, I'll take a bird-like structure. We're gonna have to change the strategy up. I think we're gonna have to swim back over and explore that spit of land. Oh, wait a second, hold on. Now drop. Are you serious? Are you serious? Now let's put our bow away so the bowstring doesn't get wet. And we're gonna have to swim across. Wait, there's a bird. There's a bird. Get the bow up. Oh. Okay, hold on. Stop moving, bird. Dang it. Excellent. Now, if we can get one or two more birds, I'd be very happy.
Now, are we lucky? We lucky. Ah, but I don't hear the buzzing. Okay. Maybe there's a chest. No, we're not lucky. We have a structure over here. Hopefully it has some honey. I don't hear buzzing. You see a chest though. Listen to the bees, dude. Quiet. Get over here. I definitely hear buzzing. Found them. All right. Let's do this safely. Teach does not want to go into anaphylactic shock. Get angry. All right. Be angry. All right. This is excellent. Give me that honey. Give me that sweet, sweet honey. Now, I think the stress of all that hunting deserves a little bit of a snack. So, we're going to take some honey. We're going to go check out that stone structure. Not a carn. But, I know there might be bones there. So, I'd like to see if we can find some bones. Then we're going to head home. And probably call it for today. Oh, I'm so glad we found that honey. That is a huge score. All right, we got some bones. Really good day. All right, let's get home. Oh, oh, he took off. Well, I'll tell you what, that was a very long and frustrating day. But it was a good day. We ended up finding a bird, finding some bees. But tomorrow, I think what we need to do is see how much we can upgrade and... I think we go take down a gear boss. I think it's going to be a good day for us and a bad day for Agther. See you in the morning. Oh, good morning. That is sounding super windy out there today. I think a storm might be on the way. All right, so what I want to do first is go get some wood and let's see about making ourselves some beehives. Now we need to be very careful. Three lands on you, it will kill you. Now we can't have this one blocking our doorway, now can we? Now we can check if they're happy. Seriously, life ain't that bad, but you got a view like this in the morning. Not a bad life for old Siege. Definitely upgrade the bow. And my knife. The axe. The hammer. No. I am getting restless. Now, I'm not fully prepared as I'd like to be. But I think we gotta go kill ourselves a gear god. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go straight after Ike there. right in front of me. Ow. Oh. Oh. You have bad timing. Leave me alone. Yeah, Hector, this was supposed to be between you and me. I didn't I didn't know company was coming. Gotta go. Ow. Okay, so far we're doing pretty good. Not gonna hurt. Thank goodness for rocks. A little too quick for you, bud.
Right in the butt. All right, we gotta let the stamina regen a little bit. That's why I was adamant about getting that honey. Oh, yeah, you're gonna get me every time with that. You should probably just spam that. And there we go. We were a formidable first foe. I thank you for your gift and how you use your resources wisely. Good. We have the hard antler. Now we can start going into the black forest. But first, we have to go deposit ahead. And here we are. Let's mount him. Activate his power. Very good and accomplished day, I would say. We made a lot of good progress. Upgraded some stuff, picked an Ike there, and we prepared ourselves a pickaxe and start heading towards the Black Forest. Now, my only thing is, do we want to keep and expand this base or we'll build closer to the Black Forest? I guess we'll have to play that one by ear as we start exploring the coastline and working our way towards it. But yeah, all in all, not bad. So if you enjoyed this Siege of Survival, tune in for the next episode. It's going to be a lot of fun. See you next time.